thank you so much um, for the introduction. Thanks for joining in today. I will talk about sampling um, within ERGA. Uh, more precisely, I will talk about um, the BGE um, the Biodiversity Genomics Europe project and the sampling strategies that we developed there. You can hear more about that project later today, as Chiara has already announced. Um, we here had decided on three levels of involvement of the genomics community to deliver samples to contribute to the visions of ERGA. Um, so we tried to deliver samples to contribute to the visions of ERGA uh, and establish a sample to sequencing workflow that would work for the ERGA community. Um, <clears throat> the broadest community engagement uh, was over two completely open calls to the biodiversity genomics community, um, where we asked you to nominate species for sequencing. And this resulted in uh, several hundreds of nominations from a wide variety of organisms and countries. Um, and we worked here in exchange with um, the ERGA SSP committee on these calls and the selection of species. Um, our second bucket of species um, came from three European hotspots. So here we work with partners of the BGE project of Spain, Slovenia and Greece that however represent larger national networks from their countries um, and are all located in the Mediterranean basin. And then sometime into the project, we opened more specific calls for large field work campaigns, so-called bioblitzes, um, that are now providing uh, many samples for genome sequencing, as well as barcoding from further European hotspots. And we asked them to be either focused on a specific region or habitat type on a specific organism. So again, these were open calls um, uh, in the format of subcontracting funding. And we here selected six projects that cover a variety of ecosystems and uh, extended the project, especially to the southeastern region of Europe, um, provided help to widening countries. Um, we deliberately here sampled more than BGE can sequence um, for now and create a future frozen collection for biodiversity genomics. And you can see some images here. Um, so we really cover many different um, ecosystems and habitats and different species. So with this um, selection, we had our target regions and species office, if you like. We then investigated uh, the proposed species and prioritized species. And this was um, especially true for this very open community-based call. And uh, we uh, worked our way through the species list based on scientific, technical, social, and feasibility criteria to choose what goes eventually um, into sequencing. Once this was done, um, we informed the sample providers. Um, they went to the field with guidance from us to obtain samples that would deliver high quality reference genomes. We asked them to take classical vouchers um, or at least an image which serves as an e-voucher to contextualize our genomes. Then different methods of dissection took place, um, of course, appropriate for um, the various organisms that were sampled. We asked providers to keep material deep frozen um, on the one hand, as reference material in a biobank, um, so for future use and to further contextualize the genomes. And then, of course, the um, D tissues or um, the material that went into genome sequencing. So this was flesh frozen. Um, and we asked them to ensure a cold chain until shipping and throughout shipping to um, the sequencing centers that uh, target tackled the genome sequencing. Um, what we aimed within this project and for Ergo more broadly was um, a standard for the sampling, but also for the metadata it um, accompanies. So we asked our sample providers while sampling um, to collect a diverse set of metadata and a comparable set of metadata. So this works over a spreadsheet. This spreadsheet um, is then uploaded to a brokering platform called Procopo. Here, all entries in the metadata spreadsheet are validated and controlled against the controlled vocabulary. Uh, once this is fine and the sample manager has approved the manifest, um, the set of metadata, a biosample is created for all material that is submitted. Um, the accompanying images of the species sampled are brokered automatically to bioimages, and this eventually helps to display all um, data that we collected, all metadata, together with the sequence data um, in the European Nucleotide Archive, um, and this is also visible over the ERGA data portal. And where has this brought us yet? So, um, uh, as of today, or probably yesterday, uh, we collected over 1,000 species. Um, they came, and this is, of course, oversampling. So this is more than we can currently sequence, but is future-proof sampled um, and can go to sequencing. We sampled in more than 22 countries. 
um, over 170 species have been shipped to the sequencing facilities that work within the BGE project. And you can see here a short um, overview or summary um, of what we have targeted. And we had some um, deliberately chosen target areas um, because BGE, for example, focuses on studying pollinators. You can see that we nicely um, sampled a variety of insects. And here you see how those are distributed uh, across um, the partner countries. And then, of course, you see that we have a lot more samples coming out of these dedicated hotspot areas that we targeted. And this eventually within BGE um, is aiming to deliver um, about 275 gigabases of genome span. What has this effort told us? What have we learned? Community engagement presents challenges, so we have to upkeep with sample providers with the community constantly. Um, but we run it within a restricted project, which means we had to enforce very strict deadlines, and this is essential um, to contribute to the success of a project. Um, but we learned of many, many hurdles um, that people run into uh, while doing field work. And we think we successfully engaged a wide network beyond the BGE project. Um, so we really engaged the biodiversity um, genomics community. We've learned a lot on coordinating sample shipments across Europe. Um, we've learned that this is complex. We hope that BGE can highlight this uh, and show that there's improvement needed and that facilities uh, all work together. Um, this project um, delivers clear workflows and SOPs that are hopefully um, transportable to other projects. And we've learned very quickly that automation is needed um, for this wealth of metadata that we produce. But this is a workflow that we have established and we are very happy uh, for every ERGA attached initiative to use that. And with this, I'm very sorry for all the screen sharing issues. I hope Tyler will have a better time, so I'll stop my screen.